Okay, so I've been meaning to do some speed tests on some SSD drives and uh, I've got a Kingston and a Crucial 240 gig drive that I bought a while ago. So let's switch over to screen capture. So I've done loads of speed tests in the past uh, with the Raspberry Pi built-in agnostics program. The fastest things I've had, so from an SD card point of view, it was the SanDisk Extreme. USB stick, uh, well this wasn't mine but it was one of my subscribers and uh, this was the fastest I've seen from a USB stick. Uh, SSD drive, the fastest I've had has been the Yukon so far. I tend to go for very cheap SSDs for my Pi and uh, I've got uh, a load of other tests if you want to see what some of the others come up like. But I figured I'd spend a little bit more and get a slightly larger drive and uh, and then give a comparison on those two. So the fastest I've ever had was uh, an NVMe drive, which is a Pioneer, which my son's got in his PC now because I managed to break the uh, M.2 NVMe adapter. So let's shut down and restart with one of these drives. Okay, so as you can see from the top of the screen, this is the Kingston drive. So let's open up Diagnostics and run test. Okay, so show log. Yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty good. So 313, so uh, where does that come in against my Yukon SSD drive? So yeah, it's faster. So the Yukon was 225,986. The Kingston is 313,569. Uh, the random write speed is slower though, which is interesting, but the random read speed is faster. And if we compare it to the M.2 drive, the sequential write speed is actually quite close. Uh, but the random write speed and the random read speed is definitely lower. So pretty good. Uh, let's put that in that document. I usually run it a couple more times just to see uh, if it gives a faster speed. So three, three in total I generally do. And let's see if we can get better than that. Because it does vary. Three ten eleven. So that's slightly slower but faster on the random read speed. And let's do one more. So three one four. Five faster on the sequential write speed. Random write speed is slower, but random read speed is faster. So I'm going to stick. I'm just going to stick with the one I've got there. Uh, that's fine. Uh, so let's save that and boot up with the Crucial drive. Okay. So I'm now on the Crucial drive, let's do exactly the same test again. So we are faster on the random write speed. Uh, so slower on the sequential write speed and the random read speed is slower. So it's hard to know if that would be better or not really. It's which bit is the real crucial bit. Now I always think that sequential write speed is less important uh, and I think the random write speed and the random read speed is, is the most important of all of it. Right, so let's copy that into that document. And let's run that test again. I'll leave it in real time uh, just to show you how quick it does that test compared to an SD card. It really zips through it. There you go. So show log. It's all slightly slower, under 300,000. So, uh, but the random read speed is faster. I think I'll just stick with that same test I had before and reset and do one more. Okay, so 303, slightly faster. Random write speed wasn't as good on that test, and the random read speed was better. So, oh, hard to know what to do. I think I'm going to put that one in. Although the random write speed was very good. No, let's, let's put that one in uh, because I think the read speed is very important. Okay, so overall. Uh, I would say I'd give it to the Kingston, only marginally, and uh, the thing to note with this really 
is the big improvement is when you go from an SD card, and this is the fastest SD card that I've had uh, out of all of them. And uh, I think also the, the Kingston Cambio was good as well, but uh, I'm pretty sure this was the fastest of all of them. Uh, but when you see it compared to even a cheap SSD, the, the cheap SSD is way, way faster. So I would say SSD is probably the way to go for performance for money. Uh, and also the availability of SSD drives and also the the cable that I'm using, the ordinary USB SATA cable, which supports UASP, which is the faster standard, uh, is also good value for money as well. So really, I mean, when you look at the random write speed, look, it's faster on the UCAN. I don't know if that's to do with the size of the drive, possibly, although you wouldn't think it would make a lot of difference on a solid state drive. Um, but uh, But yeah, both of them are giving good scores and uh, not blisteringly fast compared to the Yukon, but better. So I'll put Amazon affiliate links to all of these drives in the description if you're interested in buying them. Uh, so I paid $25.99 for the Kingston, uh, which was a good deal. Uh, and the Crucial, I paid $25.99 as well. So I paid the same for both drives. I think they're a bit more expensive now. Certainly one of them was a bit more expensive when I checked before. But uh, as I say, I'll put the links in there. Anyway, I hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.